So today, rather than Transformers, in part because Hasbro keeps filing copyright claims against my Transformers videos, and in part because I just wanted to talk about something else, we're going to be talking about something else. Specifically, the Netflix series Hilda, based on a graphic novel series of the same name. This review is going to be less of a review than it is just me spouting my feelings about this show for a few minutes. Structurally, it's going to kind of resemble my Dragon Prince review, because the main point of this video is that you should go watch this show, and I don't want to spoil so much of it for you that you don't want to do that. As of right now, the first season of this show could very well be the last. It has not been confirmed for a second season yet, and it absolutely deserves one, because believe me when I say, this is the best animated show of the year, and possibly one of the best animated shows of the decade. A lot of people were holding this up as the next Gravity Falls, and it's not that. There are some thematic similarities, and the art style is that same art style that a lot of cartoons nowadays use, and was used in Gravity Falls. You could stick some Gravity Falls characters in this show and they wouldn't seem all that out of place. But this is not Gravity Falls. In many ways, I would call this show the anti-Gravity Falls. This is not an action show the way that Gravity Falls was. This is not a mystery show the way that Gravity Falls was. There's no overarching mystery in this show, at least not yet. And whereas in Gravity Falls, the supernatural elements were things that were hidden away and people wanted them to stay, hidden away. People who knew about them tended to want to forget about them. This is a world where the supernatural exists and it's just part of everyday life. People know that these things exist. To them, mythology is history and the certain knowledge of these creatures is built into the way that they live their lives. The main setting of the series, Trollberg, for example, is a city that was designed with a giant wall around it, leaving enough room for the original settlers to develop within the wall to keep out the trolls that live outside. They have an annual festival that's gone back to the, I think it was the founding of the town, they said, that celebrates the appearance of a Thunderbird, a mythical creature, because in this universe, Thunderbirds exist, and while they are confused as to what exactly the Thunderbird is and the context of their local celebration, they know that this supernatural being exists, they accept it, and it's just part of their lives. The series starts out with Hilda and her mother living out in the wilderness, a decent distance away from this city, and Hilda spends her days out in the woods surrounding her house looking for things like trolls and giants so that she can document them. She knows that they exist, and her mother knows that they exist, and they have discussions about these things, and early on in the series you think that her mother must be like some super wise person who's privy to all of this information that the rest of humanity isn't, and that's why she brought her daughter out here to experience this magic and wonder, but no, she's just a regular adult who's grown up in this world where these are regular things. I don't know if you guys watched the Netflix movie Bright, which tried to do a similar thing by making fairies and orcs and the like part of modern society and failed pretty spectacularly by not really thinking through how that would affect history and societal development and the dynamics between people. This show does all of that right. Like, people in this world are deathly afraid of trolls, even though trolls mostly just want to leave you alone and be left alone themselves, because of a fundamental misunderstanding between the two species. Like, there's a certain weird magic to seeing all these humans who kind of understand the world around them, but could understand it so much better if they just tried a little harder. And through the efforts of this little girl, more and more of them are starting to understand a little better because she's accepting of everyone. She tries to make friends with everyone. Like, this show doesn't really do message episodes. The moral, quote unquote, of each individual episode tends to be something which pertains mostly to this world, but there is still an overarching message to this show that it's easy to misunderstand someone who's different than you, and you should go out of your way to try not to do that. And that's a great message. And it also does a really good job of summing up who Hilda is as a person, as a character. I mentioned that this isn't an action show, but that doesn't mean that it couldn't be. Hilda's certainly capable of performing action feats. And she does from time to time, but she doesn't fight people. She solves her problems through talking things through, through finding a common ground, through treating people like people, and... By people, I'm including things like trolls and elves and giants. It's warm and wholesome, and I love every second of it. I'm just so enamored by the idea of a world where all of these mystical, magical, supernatural things exist alongside humanity, and humanity is aware of them, and you can go out, and you can look around, and you can see these things. And I'm right there with Hilda. I don't understand why all the people living in the city are so content to just keep their heads down and 
not want to experience this stuff. Like, uh, this show isn't laugh-out-loud funny the way that Gravity Falls is, to go back to the Gravity Falls comparison, but it's definitely chuckle-worthy. I find myself chuckling through a lot of the episodes, and it's not to say there aren't any laugh-out-loud moments. There's nothing that rivals the fabulous disposable camera scene from, I think it was like the second episode of Gravity Falls or something. But this show doesn't really need to be funny because it's just, it's so charming. It's so charming that just being uh, chuckle-worthy, just being amusing in places is enough because you want to see these people keep doing the things that they're doing. You're drawn to it. The main plot of the series revolves around Hilda and her mother having to move from the wilderness to Trollberg. And by moving to the city, Hilda comes to experience all new sorts of adventures. And while that doesn't resonate with me particularly, as I prefer stories that go the opposite route, Trollberg did make for an interesting setting. And while the show didn't have any overarching mysteries, as I mentioned before, it was very good at setting things up early. Plot points and lore and character details, which were introduced in earlier episodes, will come to play in later episodes. This show has a tendency to teach us things about creatures or creature societies so that later on, we'll already know them when some twist on the formula is introduced in another story. I'm trying to think of a way to accurately describe the way that the show makes me feel, because my notes are terrible and just say, describe how the show makes you feel, but it's it's hard to do that, so I'm going to explain this in a way that's a little embarrassing coming out of the mouth of someone who's not 12 years old, but here goes. As you grow up, the world loses a lot of its magic. That's inevitable. As your brain develops, you learn to reason better, and you stop imagining things as vividly, and on top of that, you learn that a lot of the magical things that you thought might exist don't. It's a real shame. I absolutely hate it. I wish I could go back to being a child just for a few minutes to remember what it felt like to be able to imagine a world where magical creatures existed. And thanks to this show, I feel like I have. This world is so vividly realized and the characters interact with it in such realistic ways that I can, while walking my dog down the street, see a strange looking rock on the ground and think, hey, Maybe that's a troll. Or I might think I see something moving behind a tree when it's just the tree branches moving in the wind and think, maybe it's a forest giant. Like, I still know that those things aren't there, but thanks to this show, I can imagine for just a second that they might be. And that makes all the difference. That's, it's changed my life in a relatively minor way, but in a way that still impacts me and has still made me incredibly happy. This show deserves a second season. This show deserves more than that. This show deserves five seasons in a movie. So go watch it if you haven't. It's an excellent show. You will almost definitely not regret it, and it will certainly help it along towards getting the additional episodes that it rightfully deserves. I honestly can't think of a more perfect recent cartoon than this one. Maybe over the garden wall and gravity falls is probably a better show than this too but it is definitely up there with one of the best cartoons of all time but that's been my two cents on this topic and i'd love to hear yours guys what do you think of hilda if you have seen it let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my discord link in the description but either way this has been aj22 getting a terrible cold already this fall it's great and i will talk to you guys later